The following program is presented by Chick-fil-A South Florida and Bright Star Credit Union. Spanish River High takes on Wellington High tonight on School Duel. and welcome to School Duel, where 24 South Florida high schools battle it out. Now tonight's game features Spanish River High versus Wellington High in what should be quite a showdown. Okay, before we begin, let me tell you what these students are playing for. Well, first off, both teams will win beautiful trophies courtesy of our sponsor, Edco Awards and Specialties. Thank you, Edco. <laughs> the runner-up school tonight, each player receives $50 from our sponsor, Bright Star Credit Union. Thank you, Bright Star. <laughs> and last but not least, for the winners, well, each of these students will walk away with free chicken sandwiches for an entire year, courtesy of Chick-fil-A South Florida. Thank you, Chick-fil-A South Florida. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Our opening round is called First Strike. And in this round, it's school versus school. Each question is worth 10 points, and any question answered incorrectly gives the other school a chance to steal. All right, schools, you've been waiting. Prepare for the first strike. First question deals with definitions. What four-letter word is the title of a 2006 remix album of Beatles songs, a pop art sculpture in Philadelphia, a score of zero in tennis, and as Fernando? Love. Very good, excellent. All right, Spanish River, we are off. Literature, what conflict is the backdrop of the poem in Flanders Field, the Ernest Hemingway novel, A Farewell to Arms, and the novel All Quiet on the Western Front? Leo? Civil War. Incorrect, Wellington? David? World War I. Very good, all right. Science terms. What science term can refer to the part of a eukaryotic cell that contains the chromosomes or the part of an atom? Daniel? Nucleus. All right. U.S. states. Officially, it is a commonwealth and its residents are known as Bay. Yes, Daniel? Pennsylvania. Incorrect. Spanish River. Officially, it is known as a commonwealth and its residents are known as Bay Staters. Name this state the most populous in New England whose capital is Boston. Kaya. Massachusetts. Yes, very good. Theater. Its name comes from the fact that it is the only side of a typical theater stage that does not physically exist. Name this numeric concept, which is broken when a performer stays in character. Adrian. Fourth wall. Very good. All right, a question about landmarks. Visitors can go down to its bottom by riding a mule along the Bright Angel Trail. David. Um, uh, Grand Canyon. Yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the What Am I question brought to you by the Museum of Discovery and Science in Fort Lauderdale. Our contestants are given a clue about something or someone and shown a picture that will slowly reveal itself. So here goes. It was partially excavated about 1,000 years after it was created, and it has survived. Yes, Adrian? Sphinx. Very good. And here's a little something about the Great Sphinx of Giza. The Great Sphinx dates to about 4,500 years ago and faces directly west to east. All right, your next question deals with spelling. An event that is statistically unusual might be called an anomaly. Spell the word, Daniel? A-N-O-M-A-L-Y. Very good. All right, philosophers, his ideas and sayings were written down by his followers in books like the Analects. Yes, Leo? Plato. Incorrect. Wellington, identify this ancient Chinese philosopher who developed a religious system of thought that bears Adrian? Confucianus. Very good. Diseases. A 2022 study suggests that this disease is caused by the Epstein-Barr virus. 
identify this disease that destroys the myelin sheath in the brain and spinal cord, often abbreviated MS. Kaya. Muscular dystrophy. Incorrect. Wellington. Yes, Daniel. Alzheimer's. Incorrect. It's multiple sclerosis. Oh, that horn means the end of the first strike round. We have Wellington leading with 70 points. Spanish River has 20 points. But don't go anywhere because we'll be right back with more School Duel after these messages. My name is Joseph, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A nuggets is they're so good every single time. You bite into that nugget, and it's just so crispy, but somehow juicy, that perfect balance. And then if you just grab a couple sauces, you're going to be in heaven. Hey, I'm Chambray, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A's mac and cheese is how rich and cheesy it is. I just scoop the crispy top, and it's so good. It's so homey. It's like, wow, thank you. I needed that. Hey, I'm Chambray, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A's mac and cheese is how rich and cheesy it is. I just scoop the crispy top, and it's so good. It's so homey. It's like, wow, thank you. I needed that. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. First round of action ended with Wellington leading. They have 70 points. Spanish River has 20 points. Now, before we begin the second round, let's take a minute to meet this week's competitors from each school. Hi, I'm Leo. I'm a senior, and I'm the team captain. Go Sharks! Hi, I'm Kaya, and I'm a senior. Go Sharks! Hi, I'm Fernando. I'm a junior. Go Sharks! Hi, I'm Abby. I'm a junior. Go Sharks! Are you ready to compete, Fernando? Yeah, I'm ready to win. You ready to win? You ready to win, Kaya? So ready. We're on the way to makeup right now. Can't wait. We're ready to get beautified. Very excited. We're here to win for Shark Nation. Go Sharks! I'm Daniel, I'm a sophomore, I'm the team captain, go Wolverines. I'm Adrian, I'm a sophomore, go Wolverines. My name's David, I'm a sophomore, go Wolverines. I'm Jason, I'm a sophomore, and the Wolverines will win. Hey, what's up? Uh, my name's David. Um, yeah. All right, we're gonna go get makeup done. We just filmed our intros. All right, we're ready. So excited. What's up? Video. Pumped up? Mm hmm Hopefully, it's gonna be fun. Wellington on three. One, two, three. Wellington! Oh, there we go. The Wolverines are here to win. Go, go Wolverines! Wolverines! Lovely, let's hear it for both schools. And now that we know everyone, let's move on to round two, the joust, which is presented by public supermarkets. Here, a player from each school competes head to head with a toss up question. And the winner gets three bonus questions for their school and all the questions are worth 10 points. All right, schools, I hope you're ready because it is time to joust. We will start with Leo and Daniel, come on down. Here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. 
What streaming video service features original series including Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan, The Wheel of Time, The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, and The Boys? Yes, Leo. Amazon Prime. Very good, all right. Spanish River, the following bonus questions all deal with identifying streaming services from their original programming. Bonus question number one, what streaming service features Wu-Tang and American Saga, Only Murderers in the Building, and The Handmaid's Tale? Uh, that would be Hulu. Bonus question number two, what streaming services original programming includes Destination Fear, American Detective with Joe Kenda, Magnolia Table with Joanna Gaines, and BattleBots, Bounty Hunters. <laughs> Discovery Plus is the answer. Bonus question number three. What is the current name of the streaming service that features The Good Fight, Halo, and Star Trek Discovery? <laughs> that would be Paramount. All right, Kaya and Adrian, come on down. It's your turn to joust. Here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. Officially named for its patron saint, Cristobal, this city was captured by the British during the Seven Years' War. Name this Spanish-speaking capital city located 105 miles from Key West, Florida. Yes, Adrian? Miami. Incorrect, Kaya? We're looking for Havana. All right, don't go anywhere, I have a question for you. Havana is the capital of what country, which was ruled, yes, Kaya? Cuba. Very good. All right, we're back at Spanish River. And the following bonus questions all deal with the city of Havana, Cuba. Bonus question number one. Havana's economy was damaged by the 1991 collapse of what communist superpower? Yes, Fernando? The Soviet Union. Very good. Bonus question number two. What U.S. battleship exploded and sank in Havana's harbor in 1898, sparking the Spanish-American uh, Fernando? The Maine. Very good. Bonus question number three. What Cuban-American singer released a 2017? Camila Cabello. Very good. All right. My last two are Fernando and David. Come on down. Here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. If your bill at the restaurant is $30 and you pay a total of $36, what percent tip did you leave your server? Yes, Fernando. 5%. Incorrect, David. 7%. Incorrect, it's 20%. Don't go anywhere, I have another question for you. If you buy a shirt that costs $18 and you hand the cashier $20, how much change should you get back? Yes, David. Two dollars. Yes, very good. All right, Wellington. The following bonus questions I'll deal with money math. Bonus question number one. If you paid $1,000 per month in rent this year and your landlord raises your rent by 10%, what will you pay per month next year? Daniel. $1,100. Very good. Bonus question number two. If you put $10,000 in a savings account today and the account earns 2% interest annually, how much money will be in the account one year from now? Daniel. $10,200. Good job. Woo! Bonus question number three. If your car's gas tank holds 12 gallons and you have one and a half gallons left in the tank, how much would it cost you to fill up your tank completely if gas costs $4 per gallon? Daniel. $42. Very good, excellent. All right, there's the buzzer. That means the end to the joust. We still have Wellington leading. They have 110 points, but Spanish River now has 70 points. We will be right back with more School Duel after these messages. It must be fate that his cap and gown are the same color he wore for his kindergarten graduation. It's the same rascally smile, that hasn't changed. But he stands there, so sure, so ready to take on the world. He has arrived. It's hard not to resist and push against the door that's closing, but you give in a little, because the future is wide open. From each little moment to every major milestone, Publix, proud supporter of education.
there were these kids and they were doing this weird thing with their hands and... Well, it's not up to you. I already made my decision. But don't just go through the motions. Embrace them. Take it all in. Breathe, focus, and go. You know, we've been raised to be leaders and be responsible and don't be a follower. And that's exactly what we're doing right now. Coming up on Broward Teen News. We're at West Broward High School. We're here at Cooper City High School. We're at Stoneman Douglas High School. It's Cypress Bay edition of Broward Teen News. Broward Teen News starts now. BTN is South Florida's only teen-produced news program, produced by a different Broward High School every month. Broward Teen News, South Florida's student-produced news show by teens for teens. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. school's match wits. Today's game has Spanish River High competing against Wellington High School. Currently, Wellington is leading with 110 points. Spanish River has 70 points. It is now time for the rapid action round. And during this round, each school receives an identical category of questions to answer quickly by themselves. Since Spanish River is trailing, they get to go first while Wellington waits outside the studio for their turn with the same questions. Now today's category is starts with O, as in Oscar. In this category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter O, as in Oscar, and each question is worth 10 points. And remember, you must answer these quickly or the judge will move you on. All right, here comes rapid action. Spanish River, cue music, and let's begin. Adjective for an integer not evenly divisible by two. Leo. Odd. Last letter of the Greek alphabet. Omega. Fernando. First name of Mr. De La Renta or the Grouch. Fernando. Oscar. Hot and cold or wet and dry, for example. Musical group consisting of strings, woodwinds, brass, and percussion. Orchestra. An upholstered footstool or an old Turkish empire. Ottoman. It measures the number of miles a car has been driven. Leo. Odometer. Shakespeare tragedy in which the jealous title character kills his... Leo. Ophella. A word that sounds like sound, such as oink or tick-tock. Fernando. Onomatopoeia. The path a planet takes around the sun. Kaya. Orbit. All right, good job. Spanish River, we got through every question. So let's hear it for Spanish River High. And with a little TV magic, let's bring in Wellington High. And welcome back, Wellington. Now it's your turn with the same question. Today's category is, starts with O as in Oscar. And in this category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter O as in Oscar, and each question is worth 10 points. And remember, you must answer these quickly or the judge will move you on. All right, let's cue music and begin. Adjective for an integer not evenly divisible by two, Daniel. Odd. Last letter of the Greek alphabet, Daniel. Omega. First name of Mr. De La Renta or the Grouch, Daniel. Oscar. Hot and cold or wet and dry, for example, Daniel. Opposites. Musical group consisting of strings, woods, brass, and percussion, De Adrian. An upholstered footstool or an old Turkish empire. 
Daniel. Ottoman. It measures the number of miles a car has been driven. Daniel. Odometer. Shakespeare tragedy in which a jealous title character kills his wife Desdemona. A word that sounds like a sound, such as oink or tick-tock, Adrian. Automatopoeia. The path a planet takes around the sun. Daniel. Orbit. All right, very good. All right, that ends the rapid action round, and we got through all of the questions, so good job to both teams. Currently, our score is 190 points with Wellington, and Spanish River has 160 points. But don't go anywhere, because we are going to take a short break, and then we'll be back for the final showdown to see which school will win this school duel game. Hey, my name is Joseph, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A nuggets is they're so good. Every single time you bite into that nugget and it's just so crispy, but somehow juicy, that perfect balance. And then if you just grab a couple sauces, you're gonna be in heaven. Hey, I'm Chambry, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A's mac and cheese is how rich and cheesy it is. I just scoop the crispy top and it's so good. It's so homey. It's like, wow, thank you, I needed that. Hey, I'm Chambray, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A's mac and cheese is how rich and cheesy it is. I just scoop the crispy top, and it's so good. It's so homey. It's like, wow, thank you. I needed that. TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. School duel, and we've got a good game going as Wellington is leading with 190 points. Spanish River not too far behind. They have 160 points. It is now time for the final showdown, and this is the last round. Our schools will go against each other again with toss-up questions, but this time the questions are worth 20 points each. Just a reminder, if a question is answered incorrectly, the other school can steal, and this is for the win. It is time for the final showdown. <laughs> Here goes, first question deals with poetry. What Asian country is the birthplace of the poetic form called haiku? Leo. Japan. Chemistry. In a chemistry lab, what glass container comes in types like Florence? Yes, Leo. Flask. Musical notation. What type of musical note has a stem but no flag? And is held, yes, Daniel? Quarter note. Actors. What first name is shared by actors Aston, Penn, Bean, and Connery? Fernando. Sean. India, what is the last name of these people who have held the position of Prime Minister of India? Indira and Rajiv. Yes, Daniel. Gandhi. Acronyms, what does the letter U stand for in the acronym SCUBA? Yes, Fernando. Underwater. Mythology, in Greek mythology, what man designed the labyrinth to hold the Minotaur and was the father of Icarus? Leo. Daedalus. Africa. The small kingdom of Lesotho is entirely surrounded by what other, Fernando? South Africa. Amendments. What amendment to the Constitution repealed prohibition? Daniel. 20th. Incorrect. Spanish River Leo. 21st. Authors. This is what American's author's epitaph. Quote the raven, nevermore. Leo. Edgar Allan Poe. Music. More than 40 years after his death at his mansion, Graceland, what king of rock and roll is still Daniel? Elvis. Anatomy. What muscle located on the back of the leg shares its name, Fernando? Hamstring. Incorrect. Wellington. Yes, Adrian. Calf. 
Statistics. In statistics, what four-letter word refers to the most common number in a data set? Yes, Kaya. Mode. The ancient world. Along with nearby Herculaneum, what ancient Italian city was destroyed by the eruption of Mount Vesuvius? Yes, Fernando. Pompeii. Airlines. Billing itself as an ultra-low-cost carrier, what ghostly-sounding airline is known, Leo? Spirit. The Olympics. What small village in upstate New York has hosted the Winter Olympics twice, including the 1980 Games that featured the Miracle, Fernando? Buffalo. Incorrect. Wellington, it featured the Miracle on Ice. It's Lake Placid. Artist. What Dutch artist painted his most famous works in the three years before his suicide, including, yes, Fernando? Vincent van Gogh. Battles. In 1836, what memorable battle to the last Daniel? The Alamo. Playwrights. What American playwright wrote these works? The Heartbreak Kid, California Suite, and The Odd Couple. Neil Simon. Physics. When a physicist draws a wave, what term beginning with A refers to the wave's maximum, Kaya? Amplitude. State capitals. Name for the fourth U.S. president. What is the capital of was Daniel? Madison. Memorable tunes. What anthem was written during the War of 1812 by Daniel? The Star Spangled Banner. All right, that sound brings an end to the school goal game. The Spanish River came from behind. They are winning with a score of 420 points. Wellington is ending with 330 points. Congratulations, Spanish River. You each have won Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches for an entire year, courtesy of Chick-fil-A South Florida. Congrats. And of course, great job to everyone. So let's hear it for both schools. Now at this time, we'd like to thank all of our sponsors for making School Duel possible, and of course, you at home for watching. So don't forget to check out our website at schoolduel.tv where you can find out more about the schools involved and you can watch past shows. And please remember to use hashtag School Duel to contact us through social media. And most importantly, make sure that you tune in next week to School Duel Thursday at 8 p.m. as Hallandale High takes on Nova High in what should be another great game. Goodbye, everyone, and thanks for watching. <laughs>